In this short video, we will be demonstrating how easily we can implement a private 5G core network infrastructure from the Azure Cloud onto a premises-based Azure Stack Edge platform. After providing provisioning parameters from a simple portal, we will see how the Azure Network Function Manager automates the distributed deployment of our Fusion Core workloads. The Azure Stack Edge hardware is represented as an object in Azure, so we can check its operational status, active configuration, and perform maintenance tasks right from the standard portal. We've created a Network Function Manager process and assigned it to the Azure Stack Edge device, but there are currently no network functions using it. We start the deployment by selecting MetaSwitch Fusion Core from the Azure Marketplace. This takes us to the Configuration Options, where we assign our hosting resource and select the Network Function Manager we will employ. We then move on to configuring the 5G Core Management, Access, and Data Network IP addresses. These are identified by their associated 5G reference interfaces. Next, we select the RAN type, then select the Mobile Country Code, the Mobile Network Code, and list the tracking area codes in use. We can then configure the range of mobile subscriber identification numbers and quality of service parameters employed by the user equipment. Once those parameters are entered, we confirm the amount of compute resources to allocate using a preset SKU. Lastly, we can review the entire deployment before executing and creating processes. Once underway, the deployment is completed in a matter of minutes. When we check back with the resource group, we can see a managed application representing the configuration we just completed. Now, when we click on the Network Function Manager, we can see that the MetaSwitch Fusion Core network functions have been successfully deployed on the Azure Stack Edge platform. If needed, we can use the VNF management portal to check everything is operational. The Kubernetes dashboard provides a breakdown of each workload running in support of the installation. Along with visualizing these pods and containers, our Grafana dashboard provides a detailed view into the operation of the 5G network itself. This includes everything from the AMF's user equipment registration rate to the packet throughput being seen by the UPF. As endpoints register and begin creating PDU sessions, we can use the Service Assurance Server to dig even deeper. Selecting a subscriber ID, we can view every signaling, logic, and routing decision made. We can even look at individual call flows and drill down to the protocol decode level on every leg.